You may remember over the weekend, there was a big stink caused over CNN anchor Chris Cuomo about uh, <laughs> being called Fredo. And this guy walks up to Chris Cuomo, some random dude. Chris Cuomo was apparently eating there with his family. And then the guy walks up and refers to him as Fredo, which is a reference to the Godfather. It's the the weak sort of uh, whiny brother that he kind of talks tough, but he's not necessarily all that strong. That's what it's a reference to. It's intended as an insult. And this is just a sampling of the result because the whole video lasts like four or five minutes. This was Chris Cuomo's reaction to that. What are you going to do about it? I'll ruin you. I'll throw you down like a punk. I thought that's who you were. No, punk is from the right call me Fredo. My name is Chris Cuomo. I'm an anchor on CNN. Fredo is from the Godfather. He was that weak brother. Isn't that your brother? And they use it as an Italian aspersion. Any of you Italian? Are you Italian? It's a fucking insult to your people. It's an insult to your fucking people. It's like the N-word for us. You can insult me like that. I didn't insult you. You call me Fredo. It's like I call you punk. You like that? You want that to be your nickname? I didn't call you that. I you called me Fredo. You know my name is fucking Fredo. I thought your name was. You did not think my name was fucking Fredo. Don't be a liar. I thought you want to be a man. Stand That's up like a man. I'm standing up, man. You want to be a man out yeah. here. Listen, Take man. I don't have a problem with you, man. You're going to have a fucking problem. What? What are you going to do about it? I'm fucking ruin you. I'm fucking throw you down these stairs like a fucking... Please do. Why? So you, you don't want to do that. You don't want to So you can fuck do. Well, why don't you do it? Go take a swing. You want to call me Fredo? Take a swing. Take a swing. Watch your hands. In response to this, President Trump tweeted this out. Would Chris Cuomo be given a red flag for his recent rant, filthy language, and total loss of control? He shouldn't be allowed to have any weapon. He's nuts. Okay? Okay, I added the okay. Now, when I first read this tweet, I chuckled. Because I thought about it, I was like, yeah, maybe that'll get Chris Cuomo to rethink his support of red flag laws. And then I realized that President Trump's not doing it for that reason. Now, I hate to assign motive, but then I remembered that President Trump's actually proposing red flag laws and is behind them. And like I said, still willing to hear the president out, still want to hear what he has to say on his suggestions. But this gives us a hint into where Trump's mind is on red flag laws, that he's actually suggesting that red flag laws would be a good thing, and then comes out with this tweet that suggests that what Trump is saying is people that he believes are unhinged or crazy should not be allowed to own firearms. And the very first person that he suggests might be a candidate for being blocked by this kind of law is someone who is his political adversary. This is a perfect example of why the left should not be supporting these laws. And I actually made this case not on red flag laws specifically, but on gun control in general just a few shows ago. If you're on the left and you really believe all these terrible things about President Trump, that he's a Nazi, that he's literally running concentration camps, that he's a racist, all of those terrible things, why on earth would you want the federal government determining whether or not you should be allowed to have a gun. That is insane. And what we just saw on display, President Trump suggesting that somebody who does not like him politically very much, I think that's safe to say with Chris Cuomo, if you've been paying any attention to him, somebody that is his political adversary, saying that guy should be kept from having a gun, that guy shouldn't be allowed to have a weapon to defend himself. That's terrifying. That is so far beyond the pale, and it shows exactly why red flag laws are dangerous. A person need only be suspicious of someone. A person need only believe that someone might be capable of committing an act of violence to get that person's God-given constitutional rights taken away from them. And that's the reason why I cannot support these red flag laws. And if this is actually where President Trump's mind is when it comes to these red flag laws, that should horrify everybody on the right and left. To people on the left, why are you in such a rush to surrender your liberties to Donald Trump? Why would you speedily champion a path forward to a red flag law 
where ultimately Congress and President Trump are the ones that are deciding whether or not your guns are taken away. Because keep in mind, yes, the law may be crafted in Congress, but who is in charge of enforcing those laws? The executive branch. In other words, President Trump and his chosen cabinet and administrators. Do you really want that guy having the final say as to whether or not you get to have a gun or not? Because it seems that President Trump is all too willing to take away guns from those who he does not politically agree with as long as he can catch them on camera saying crazy things or yelling. Now, granted, in Chris Cuomo's case, this doesn't look good, but I didn't see anything in that video that would lead me to think, yeah, that guy probably shouldn't have a gun. Nothing. Because he didn't commit a crime. He didn't threaten anybody with a gun. He threatened them. But even then, I, I didn't think that it rose to the level of criminality. But to the right. And I know that I'm speaking a little bit more directly to you because I'm on your side. This is the example. Th this is the reason why you should not support a red flag law just because President Trump is the one that's touting it. You can't just support a policy because of the person that is rolling it out. You have to support it based on the idea and the merit of the policy itself. If you support this law, simply because President Trump is the one that is rolling it out, the one that is supporting it, then you are absolutely the authoritarian fascist that the left claims that you are. If that's really what you believe, if you're thinking, well, it's okay to take away other people's liberties as long as I disagree with them, then I'm sorry, you are the right-leaning fascist that's trying to keep out any kind of political disagreement, keep out any kind of other ideas that don't line up with yours that they claim that you are for. You are the fascist that they're claiming you are, if you believe that. And if you're doing it specifically because Donald Trump is the one that's saying it's okay, then you're not only a fascist, you're falling into the cult of personality. Red flag laws are a challenge to liberty everywhere. <laughs>